بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از مبا مہرین اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل آن بہاف آف افاق آن لائن لرننگ پلیٹ فارم فار نیو سن سیریز گریڈ فور میتھا میٹکس دس ویڈیو از فار ٹیچرس پیرنٹس اینڈ اسٹوڈنٹس ایز ویل بفور موونگ ٹوورڈس دا لیسن آئی وانٹ ٹو ٹیل یو دیٹ وٹ میکس افاق یونیک دس از دا پلاننگ پلاننگ از دا کی آف سکسیس اینڈ ودآؤٹ پلاننگ وی فیس الاٹ آف پرابلمس سو فار دس افاق ہیز ڈیوائڈیڈ اکیڈیمک کیلنڈر ان ٹو تھری پروڈکٹ ٹرمس ایچ پریوڈک ٹرم کنسسٹ آف ٹو پریوڈک یونٹ اینڈ ایچ پریوڈک یونٹ کنسسٹ آف سکس ویکس ان وچ فائیو ویک از ایلوکیٹڈ ٹو لرننگ اینڈ ٹیچنگ اینڈ سکس ویکس از فار ریویژن ان دا فرسٹ ٹرم یونٹ ٹو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دس ٹو ٹاپکس ملٹیپلیکیشن اینڈ ڈویژن اینڈ فیکٹرس اینڈ ملٹیپلس ناؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ٹرم ون یونٹ ٹو ویک ون ان وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کور دس سیون ایس ایل اوز اینڈ دس کنسیپٹس ہیئر آر سیون لیسنس پلان از گیون فار دا ایز آف دا پیرنٹس اینڈ دا ٹیچرس اوکے لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود دا ریمیننگ پارٹ آف دا یونٹ نمبر ون ان وچ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ملٹیپلیکیشن اینڈ ڈویژن لیٹ سی دا ایکٹیویٹی اٹس این ایکٹیویٹی ٹائم لیٹ سی وٹ ایکٹیویٹی از اباؤٹ ان دس وی ریکاگنائز اے گیون انکریزنگ اینڈ ڈکریزنگ پیٹرن بائی اسٹیٹنگ اے پیٹرن رول For this, the methodology has been given in DLP-1, which falls in Term 1, Unit 1, Week 1, Day 1 of DLP-1. Okay, open up page number book 32, in which there is a pattern question. Here we have given three terms, which is 3, 6, 9. In pattern questions, you have to see first three terms very carefully. See, it is increasing or decreasing. It is increasing, like three, then six, then nine. I think it's addition rule applying here. How? If we add three in this term three, then we will get six. If we add three in term six, then we will get nine. So for the next remaining term, you have to add three. Then you will get 12. And in the last one, again, you have to add three, then you will get 15. So, it's a addition rule applying here. I hope you understood this question. Okay, here are the other examples of the pattern question. Let's see part number A. First term is 67, 89, 11, 1, 1, 33. 33. We have to find this missing terms. Again, it's an increasing pattern because the terms are going greater. 67, 89, then so on. So here, If I will add plus 2 in this terms, then I will get the remaining part. So, solve the rest of the sheet with your own. It's an activity time. In this, we have to recognize a given increasing and decreasing pattern by stating a pattern rule. To cover this, the methodology has been given in DLP2, which falls in term 1, unit 1, week 1 of day 2. Okay, students, here is a worksheet. This is the pattern questions here. Solve this worksheet on the methodology which we discussed in the previous lecture. Okay, students, open page number 33 of your book. Here you will see this pattern question. Here are some important notes for you. When a term in a pattern is obtaining by adding in a previous term, then the pattern is known as increasing pattern. And vice versa, when a term in a pattern is obtained by subtracting the previous term, then it is decreasing pattern so i think it's a decreasing pattern because the number is going smallest 191 82 so it's a decreasing pattern and you have to subtract some number from the previous term then you will get the remaining missing terms okay on page number 33 and 34 you have to practice this pattern questions as we discussed in the previous lecture this is an activity time let's see the other concept in this we have to complete the given increasing and decreasing number sequence and to cover this the methodology has been given in dlp3 which falls in term 1 unit 1 week 1 of day 2 it's an activity time we are going to discuss complete increasing and decreasing number sequence to cover this the methodology has been given in dlp4 which falls in term 1 unit 1 week 1 of day 3 let's see the questions describe the pattern found in a given table or a chart 
To cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP 5, which falls in Term 1, Unit 1 of Week 1, Day 4. Let's see the questions. On page number 33 and 34, here are the charts display. Okay, you have to find the various number patterns in a 100 chart as well. You can see the highlighted area and the arrow is going downwards. So, it means you have to add some number for getting this term. So, when we add 9 number like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Same you have to add again 9, then you will get 28 and so on. So, this, is, this highlighted area shows that you have to add 9. This is an increasing pattern. So, here we discuss the highlighted area on the chart and we can get that from the arrow that it is going downward. So, it's an increasing pattern because terms are going great here. On page number 34 of your book, here is the chart given. You have to find at least 5 patterns of addition and subtraction. So, color this and mark arrow for the addition and subtraction rule. It's an activity time. Let's see the other concept. In this, we are going to discuss the pattern found in a given table or a chart. To cover this, the methodology has been given in DLP6, which falls in Term 1, Unit 1 of Week 1, Day 4. On page number 34, you can see the table here. Let's look at the tables given below and identify the rule for each pattern. Here are number given and here is the result. What we do with this number to get this number? Okay, should we, I have to minus something? No. Should I have to multiply something? No. Okay, I think I have to add because the term is increasing. So it's an increasing pattern. So if we add 20 in 12, then we get 32. When we add 20 in 18, then we will get 38. So it's addition pattern applying here. I hope you understood this concept of the pattern. Let's move towards the other slide. Okay, student, here are the pattern questions for your practice. Solve this question under the presence of your parents or teacher as we discussed in the previous lecture. It's an activity time. Let's see the other concept. In this, we recall the concept of the whole unit. To cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP 7 which falls in Term 1, Unit 1, Week 1 of Day 5. On page number 36 and 37, you will see some important note here. These all notes we discussed in the previous lecture. It is about multiplier, multiplicand, product, division, quotient, remainder, and patterns. So you have to practice these questions under the presence of your parents or teacher to grip on the concepts. It is very necessary. It's the beginning of week 2. Let's see what we have in week 2. In week 2, we have to cover these 7 SLOs and these concepts. Here are 7 lesson plans given for the ease of parents and teacher. It's an activity time. Let's see the other concept. In this SLO, we recall the concept of whole unit. To cover this, the methodology has been given in DLP 1, which falls in term 1, unit 1, week 2 of day 1. Let's see the questions. Open a page number 37 and 38 of your book, you will get this worksheet here. These are the pattern question, this is a statement question. As you know that in pattern question, you have to see first three or four terms very carefully, then you will get to know that it is increasing order or decreasing order. So fill this worksheet under the presence of your parents and teacher. Now we are going to discuss the factors and multiples of it and we are going to cover these SLOs in this lesson. It's an activity time. Let's see the other concept. In this, we identify divisibility rule for two. Use divisibility test for two numbers up to five digits. To cover this, the methodology has been given in DLP 2, which falls in term one, unit one of week two, day two. On page number 39 and 40 of your book, here is a display of this picture and this rules of divisibility. Here are some important notes for you. A number is said to be divisible by another whole number if it is divides the other number exactly without the remainder. Okay, the digit in the ones place is 4, 234. 
the digit in the ones place is 4 therefore it is divisible by 2 because you know that 2 times 2 is equal to 4 that's why this number is divisible by 2 let's see the other number 455 the digit on the tens place is 5 so I think it's not divisible by 2 because 5 number is not a multiple of 2 it's an activity time in this we identify the divisibility rule for 3 use divisibility test for 3 numbers up to 5 digits to cover this the methodology has been provided in DLP 3 which falls in term 1 unit 1 of week 2 day 2 ok divisibility rule for 3 let's see this number 135 we have to find the sum of these digits like this 1 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 9. So you all know that 9 is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 3. Let's see the other number. It's 1568 and the sum of the digit is 20. 20 is not divisible by 3. So, this number is not divisible by 3. I hope you understood the divisibility rule of the 3. Open up page number 42 of your book. Here is a very interesting question for you. Circle the numbers which are divisible by 3. Let's see all numbers. Okay. And you have to recite the table of 3. Like this. 45. 3 ones are 3. Carry here 15 and 3 fives are 15 yes it is divisible by 3 with no remainder so you have to circle this number 71 I think it is not divisible by 3 because it is not a multiple of 3 so you have to find the other numbers same exactly in a manner I discussed before it's an activity time in this we have to identify the divisibility rule for 5 use divisibility test for 5 numbers up to 5 digits to cover this, the methodology has been provided in DLP 4, which falls in term 1, unit 1 of week 2, day 3. Okay, on page number 42, here is a divisibility rule for 5. If any number have 0 or 5 at the ones place, then it is divisible by 5. It is very interesting point. Like if you have 5 or 0 in the ones place, then you know that it is divisible by 5. Okay. What about this? 4347. 7 is on the ones place. There is no 0, there is no 5. So this number is not divisible by 5. I hope you understood this divisibility rule of 5. Okay, page number 41. You have a question, write 5 numbers which are divisible by both 2 and 5. You have to recall the same concept which we discussed in the previous lecture like when there is a 0 in the ones place then it is divisible by 2 and 5 so you have to write 4 numbers more which are divisible by 2 and 5 it's an activity time let's see the other concept in this we identify divisibility rule for 10 use divisibility test for 10 numbers up to 5 digits to cover this the methodology has been given in DLP 5 which falls in term 1 unit 1 of week 2 day 4 on page number 41, now in this slide, we are going to discuss the divisibility rule of 10. If any number has 0 in the ones place, then it is divisible by 10. Let's see this number, 320. The digit in the ones place is 0, so it is divisible by 10. This number, 9876, the digit in the ones place is 6, therefore it is not divisible by 10. Okay, you have to practice this worksheet you have to solve the questions on the basis of the methodology we discussed before so solve this worksheet under the presence of your parents or teacher it's an activity time let's see the other methodology in this SLO we are going to discover the divisibility rule for 2 3 5 and 10 to cover this the methodology has been given in DLP 6 which falls in term 1 unit 1 of week 2 day 4 let's see the questions on page number 42, 43, there is a very beautiful picture here of birds, hot air balloon and balloons. What you have to do? Match the number with the correct label. 
here are four options given divisible by 2 divisible by 3 divisible by 5 divisible by 10 you have to match the numbers which is exactly divisible by this numbers okay like part a divisible by 2 this number is divisible by 2 this rectangle is indicating that this is divisible by 2 you have to match this option with this number so do this activity by your own under the presence of your parents or teacher it's an activity time let's see the other concept in this we are going to identify and differentiate two digit prime numbers and composite number to cover this the methodology has been given in dlp7 which falls in term 1 unit 1 week 2 of day 5 on page number 43 we have two definitions one is of prime number and one is of composite number what are prime numbers a number which has only two divisors one and a number itself it's called a prime number for example two it has only two divisors one and two itself so it's a prime number 3 is also a prime number, 5 is also a prime number, 7 is also a prime number. Why? Because it have only two divisors. And what is composite numbers? Composite numbers are those numbers which has more than two divisors. For example, 6, 12, it have more divisors than two. So it are composite number. Let's move towards the questions. On page number 44, you have to do this question, circle the prime numbers. As we discussed in the previous lecture, that what are prime numbers who have only two divisors? So you have to circle it, like 3, 3 have only two divisors. Is 6 is a prime number? No, because it has more than two divisors. 2, yes, it's a prime number. So you have to circle the prime number here. Do this activity. I hope you understood all the concepts which we discussed in the lecture. I will meet in the next video inshallah. Until then, Allah Hafiz, take care.